Hello everybody, Dave here again. Today I'm going to make a video, actually a step-by-step -step video on, on a couple different things. And I'm going to spell it out here what I'm going to do. These are the steps to end a race and to merge it into wind speed. And I'm going to use my on-screen um, software here to show you what I'm doing um, along with creating the race and merging it into wind speed um, on my screen files and then I'm going to use my video recorder to show you what it looks like when I actually take the clocks and what I do on the clocks to get them to you know merge into the computer that way so you're gonna have the whole process here on this one to watch so these are the steps we're gonna do we're going to create a uh, race into wind speed here. And um, so th this one will be on my, um, this one will be on the screen here. Uh, take the clocks and end the race. That's going to be on my video recorder next. Print out the evaluation sheets. That'll be on the video recorder. Save the um, <clears throat> file in Pydex. I'll show that on my video recorder. Merge the race into Pydex. Um, that one will that one will probably be on my screen, and then clear out the clocks will be on the uh, my video recorder. So those are the steps that we're going to do. So the first thing we're going to do is create the race into wind speed. You know we got a race going this week for our club. It was at Blue Earth, Minnesota. <clears throat> the birds went up at six o'clock and six thirty. So Let's go into wind speed now and create that. Um, so I'm going to open up wind speed. And we're, I'm, I have different files created. Um, this is old bird season that we're currently in. And after July will be my young bird season. So those databases are already created. So we'll double click on the old bird. Then I will go up here on the very top to race data. And we're going to add a race. And just for some of you to also know that, um, down below here, there is a, um, you can use these buttons here. Um, I've never really used it, believe it or not. Um, the um, race list is, a, is also another way where you could create the race that way too. Um, but, you know, I've always just gone up and edit and added a race. So either way you, you like, if you get used to the buttons, Click on those or that. Either way, you'll get to it. Now, we are sending from Blue Earth. Now, as you can see on here, I've already had um, a race earlier in the May. We had a race from that station already. So this race now, and I always put numbers in front of my race station. So, and we have an A and a B race always at those stations. So, um, since we've had an A and a B. And we're having another one. This one is going to be races three and four. Okay. So I click this drop down over here and I go ahead to the current day, which is today. Our race was a day late because of weather. Um, and normally we have it on the 17th, but the race is today. So it was on 618. This is going to be called three blue earth. This will be an A race. Here, I change this over to here. Make sure over here that you're on the collect correct station when you do this over here. Otherwise, you'll even though it's called right, your station will be wrong and you'll have a mess. Um, the release times was at six o'clock. Um, since it was. All the birds will make it home today because it's a very short race. I think it's only 200 miles. Um, not quite sure of that. But um, the sunrise and sunset, I'm not going to alter. Um, now, the, the wind and stuff, I do have that saved down below here. Now, let's look at that. Um, they did go up at 6, so the wind, as you can see, is 12 miles an hour out of the west-northwest. So 12 miles an hour north northwest. Let's go back on that. And by the way, 
I used the snippet tools and I copied this off of Wonderground and um, and got the weather conditions there. Um, so it's clear um, at 50, we'll just say 58 degrees, okay? So here it is clear. We got 58 degrees. Now the arrival time, um, a lot of members, I'm not a racing, um, I don't, I don't fly, I do not have birds. So the arrival time to me, um, most of them with that strong of a north, northwest, they're probably going to be home in a couple hours. So if I go into um, look at where I currently live here in Montello, Wisconsin, and I just kind of look at right now, it is 1230. If I look at what it is now, it's... Um, Here's the current conditions right now. I'm going to go back to the table and we'll look at that. Um, it is um, still a pretty strong wind. Uh, I'll, I'll use these coordinates here, which is, it's kind of, actually right now looking out my window, it is partly cloudy. It's not really overcast. 7115 west northwest so we can put those in there so we can put this 15 uh, um, west northwest and partly cloudy is fine and 70 is fine okay so then i will go up here and i'll press add and all of this stays the same over here in the release time um, the only thing I need to change is this one up at 6.30 on the release time, and this race is a B race, okay? So I have now, I'm going to go and hit add, and, um, um, oops, I'm sorry, I needed to change this to 4. Confused me there. Okay, so the things I changed was, now it's a 4 blue earth. And I change this to 6.30 and this to a B race. So we're going to hit add. So now I've got a, a 6 o'clock and a 6.30 A and B. And actually now that the race is all done, this is all done, I can end out of here. Now I just have to wait for the members to bring their clocks over to me. Um, and that Because that's how our race club does this. They'll bring the clocks over to me. And I will go in there. And there's only five birds fly or five flyers in this race, and I'll be able to show you two of the clocks that um, we use: the M1s and the Atis tops. Um, if you have a um, an Express or a G2, I won't be able to show you on my video on this particular race on how to do that. Okay, sorry about that, but thank you for watching, and can wait wait till I. Um, continue uh, go to the next set of videos and that will be how to merge it into the race thank you